What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm going to be doing some love readings for all the signs I'm on the Scorpio, February 2020. This is going to be going over how this person feels. Um, maybe some things you didn't know, what they want you to know. There's going to go over some messages from them to you. I'm going to go over like what career field this person could be in and what they admire about you. And some messages as well from this person to you. The energies I picked up on that are specifically dealing with the Sun of Scorpio are Taurus, Virgo, and Libra. Keep in mind this isn't for everybody. If it's not for you, then just leave it. Some of you guys are trying to make a decision for this person. I feel like this person cares a lot about you, um, not only just in the love aspect, but in the passion as well. It's definitely not lacking. <sighs> Messages for Scorpio. There's a sense of regret here over a decision. And there's a need to trust your intuition about what it is that makes you happy. For some of you guys, um, you're dealing with someone who is trying to decide for themselves maybe, you know, what would make them emotionally fulfilled. I don't, I feel like this is new to them. This is a very new energy where someone maybe had the idea of a relationship with you, but then there's energy of it being cut off. And it's like you're both in this energy of kind of figuring out, you know, what direction this could go next. But someone's like really overthinking it. Someone is um, not really sure maybe what to say. I feel like there was an argument. There was an ending here, a uh, possibility of an ending. Uh, I don't really feel like it's completely over. I feel like it's just being thought about, like, do I put an end to this? Do I stop waiting? Do I, um, you know, do I let go of the idea of having a relationship with this person because of whatever reason? There's some messages here. It says, I won't commit. So some of you guys are dealing with someone who, um, I needed to hate you to find me. And I can't find any peace. This one says, I had a dream about you. I never meant to hurt you. Sometimes I say things I don't mean. It's possible that I miss you. I have way too much to drink. Sometimes I feel like I'm better off alone. And I loved you before I loved myself. Very flip-flop energy here. Um... Maybe you wanted a commitment from someone and they couldn't give it to you, um, but it's like still being thought about, but maybe subconsciously, it's like this person thinks about you, but then they revert back to, but I'm just going to hurt them. Like, I don't really want to be in a relationship. Um, I do feel like they genuinely feel bad for whatever was said, or maybe you said to them, but I just feel like someone needed to learn how to love themselves before they could learn another person. Um, some of you guys dealt with a situation in the past where 
his really like lighthearted energy where it wasn't really something that was serious you know it was almost like it was a joke to this person and this person didn't commit to you and because of that it kind of like catapulted you into new energy of now that you're dealing with someone potentially I don't really know what it is that they want from you yet but it's just like you do genuinely want this commitment you do genuinely want this relationship with this person but maybe the way you talk to people sometimes pushes them away um maybe the things that you've been through in the past it's time to just close out that cycle let it be an end to whatever overthinking and you know um lust there was in that situation to to welcome in someone who genuinely has emotion for you because i feel like you're kind of blocking it out in a way you have like one foot in the door halfway and one foot out like you're really um hesitant to let anyone help you or let anyone get close to you because you feel like you don't really know what risks to take but the last risk you took in the situation ended up with a lot of things being destroyed in your life and now you're trying to manifest more positive things but it's going to require a lot of balance and harmony and it's going to require you moving on from the past it's going to require um an understanding that there's going to be some uncertainty there's going to be not always knowing you know what's going to happen in in a certain situation ahead of time it says i can't open up about some things i just keep them to myself this one says i'm afraid of commitment put my trust in them and they broke my heart it hurt my heart the way our love ended i blame you you're the reason i don't trust bitches and this one says you make me laugh and smile so are you guys projecting onto each other old scenarios from your past? There's a lot of mirroring going on here. I feel like you guys feel like the exact same way, not only about yourself, about relationships, about other people. And that's kind of what's blocking this because I don't think either one of you anticipated um, how much alike that you were. How much you genuinely don't trust a lot of people because of what you've been through. This person could be an athlete, this person like a professional athlete, this person could be in the education field, someone could be in health services, someone could be in the beauty industry, someone could be an entrepreneur, and someone could be in the medical field for someone you're dealing with, or possibly you. This person or <laughs> this person admires your compassion person feels a sense of comfort around you this person admires your honesty this person likes the pleasure maybe that comes with you this person likes your aggressive nature and your cuddles so this is obviously some people you've been with in the past or potentially in the future but i just feel like there's a lot of healing that needs to be done i think still in this situation and it's just like I think this person's kind of closed off from you or you close them off from you because of, the thing, like I said, the things that you've been through. You have the hawk and the caribou. So looking at the spiritual meanings for those. But I just think that because of the things that you've been through and the things that this person has been through, you guys both kind of block this out. And But then there's like a part of you that still believes that this could work out. It's really odd. I feel like someone wants to like wants a new beginning with you or wants to try this, but it's like they're afraid. And I think you're also afraid. So like I said, with that mirroring energy. The regret of the past isn't going to bring anything new in the future the past never really has anything new to say in fact it's time to make a decision about the past and cut that out because or we're just going to manifest the same situation into our life again and that's not what anyone wants in this scenario no one wants to be hurt again no one wants to be in a relationship with someone that 
doesn't treat you well or leaves or doesn't really commit fully to you, you know, but I think that it's important to manifest like a healthy relationship that there will be a healthy relationship in your future and that not all of the things that happen to you are going to happen again, like changing your mind about what kind of relationship you're going to have in the future and manifesting that in. That's all I have for you guys. Have a good night.